Hi there and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 2. What is my task? I'm Baron. And we are still in Uma Hills. I was just looking for a guy here um, that the cowed wizards want to have. But all of a sudden I'm ex you know, exploring um, the sudden disappearances of the local townsfolk here. I don't know how that works. <coughs> oh well, we shall see what we can do. Is there... I don't really know... What is that? That's nothing, right? No, apparently not. I'm not really sure whether all the exits would actually highlight if I hit the tabulator tab. The, the tab button, so to say. It would be awesome if it did, but Let I... Let us speak and be done with this! Oh! You! You are one of those wizard folk looking for a Valiga, aren't you? I'm looking for a Valiga, yes, but I'm not interested in fight. Well, move on then, get out of here. Wait a second, I said I'm not interested in a fight. Which part of that didn't you get? Oh, fuck it. A giant lynx, it's uninjured. Let's change that. Now it's dead. What's that here? Can we get in here somehow? Well, that could be a cabin. Is it Valigar's cabin? Could be. See? The entrance does not highlight. I hate that. Get in here. What do we have here? I could am be trapped. Ready. I, I can dance on the head of a pin as well. I don't believe you. It's not trapped. Take the money. On my honor, I will do my oh, best. I'm still here. Oh, this is what you got. Ho there, more cold wizards, more cold ones, or their servants, no doubt. By the gods, I swear you'll not live to m take me to that damnable spear. Hmm, I am with the wizards, but they said nothing of a sphere. What do you speak of? A planar sphere appeared in the slums of Athkatla weeks ago. My ancestor, the necromancer Lavok, built that sphere as some sort of planar traveling device. Lavok disappeared with the spear over five centuries ago. It has not been seen again until now. I have no desire to meet my ancestor, and even less desire to help the coward wizards, who seem certain that my body is the only key to that sphere, alive or no. They tried to force my cooperation when I refused to aid them, and I had hidden myself away as a result. I thought I had been successful as well until you came. Then they have not been entirely truthful to me. How do you propose we solve this? My proposal is that we return to the city and enter the sphere. That way I will know if Lavok lives. If he does, we can exterminate his ghoulish existence once and for all. You are more than welcome to whatever lies within the sphere, such as magical treasure and anything else of Lavox. None of it interests me in the slightest. It seems unlikely that Lavox survived these 500 years. How could he be alive? It has been a long time, but for all I know, time may work differently when traveling the plains. As for this, his immortality, well, my ancestor has extended his life before, but that is a different story. I am the last of the Korthala line. That may mean little to you, but it means plenty to Lavok. When Lavok left Athkatla in the sphere, he was already many centuries old. Lavok extended his life by stealing the bodies of blood relations. If he yet lives, you can imagine my concern. This is also why my blood may allow entrance to the sphere. Why should I trust the murderer? You did kill two of the cowed wizards, did you not? Aye, I did. But it's not murder. They attacked me first. 
I refused to cooperate with their request and fled as soon as I was able to withdraw. Hmm. How is it that you can enter the sphere? This whole story sounds like fantasy. I cannot prove the truth of my words, my lord, but compare my motivations to those of the wizards and there's more. We already had that. Okay. What you suggest sounds interesting. What will the coward wizards not oppose us? The coward wizards will not rest until they get inside that sphere. And one cannot hope to stand up to the coward wizards for long, at least not without steady hands at one's back. Okay, very well. Join and we shall see what is inside this planar sphere ourselves. Most excellent. My family swore an oath long ago to kill Lavok should he ever reappear. And perhaps I shall be able to fulfill it. My heartfelt thanks at your offer of aid. And I should probably tell you before you agree that I intend to rescue an old friend of mine, Imu, who has been taken hostage by the cold wizards. It could be dangerous. It seems I tell I say that to everyone who, you know, joins my party. There are strengths in numbers with you, and if you wish to have my help in exacting a toll against the coward wizards that stand in your way, you'll hear no complaint from me. Let us be moving then. More than likely the coward wizards will hear of my movements and the fact that you accompany me soon enough. We shall have to be ready. We will have to be careful with the coward wizards now at our heels, but it is a righteous cause and another companion to stand at our side is always welcome. We get 9,500 XP. Be welcome, brother of the wood. So it's a ranger, obviously. Together you and Boo and I shall stride forward to crush all evil in our wake. Woe betide the evil. Okay. Let's take a what look at him. Require? Stalker. No, that's he's a stalker. He, his name is Vel Veligar. A level 9 stalker. Good strength, very good dexterity, decent constitution, so-so wisdom. Average, uh, well, a little bit above average wisdom, average intelligence and charisma. He's not bad, I think. When asked about his past, the value guy is silent for a long time and his face becomes grim. He explains briefly that he is the last of the Kothala noble line, a family that was once one of the wealthiest in Am. The Kothalas have always been cursed with magical ability, however, and Valigar spits the words with great derision. Every Kothala who has used their magical talents has become obsessed with them and ultimately come to a grievous end. His mother was the most recent victim, although the ranger does not elaborate on the point. Valigar intends to fulfill his family's oath to find and destroy their ancestor Lebok, and then he intends to let his cursed bloodline die out once and for all. Hmm, what do you have? Kothala Family Blade. This fine katana radiates magical energy when wielded by Valiga. The blade was designed to respond only to those with the blood of the family Kothala flowing through their veins. This plus two blade causes additional bleeding damage when it strikes an opponent. Okay, you also have a bow apparently, a long bow. And arrows. That's uh, just a dagger and a spear. What are your weapon proficiencies, my friend? Katana 2, spear 2, longbow 2, 2 weapon style 2. Okay, I say he's decent. I mean, a little bit more strength would be nice. And some more constitution, but... I can't complain, really. What do you have in terms of armor? Kothala family armor. This armor, long in the Kothala bloodline, protects the user against all forms of attack. Yeah, I hope it does. The armor is enchanted so that it grants a plus 3 bonus to Valigar's armor class. It also adds a bonus to resisting acid, fire and magical damage. The armor also makes Valigar immune to charm while he wears it. It is specially fitted for Valkyr. Few others than he may wear it. Hmm, that's a good armor, my friend. 
Minus two? Yeah, okay, they have better stuff. Okay, so we bring you up front. How about we... Okay. Yeah, we still have enough arrows, I think. You have 88 hit points. It's more than Jahira has. Yes. Cool. I think it's cool. What do you need? Do you have special I abilities? I in a voice something you need. Oh, charm animal. You require my counsel, yes? I don't think Lead anybody needs that. All that. One, two, three, four, five. Not even locked. Oh, we take all that. Thank you. What's in here? A katana, a composite longbow, and a spear plus one. The katana is not magical. No. But the composite longbow is tackle plus one, damage plus one. Yeah, it's better. But I guess you can't use that now. Or you could, you can use it. It's uh, just a spear plus one, but yeah, okay. Oh, you can't use the composite longbow. It's not usable by... Requires a strength of 18. Okay. Yeah, well, you don't have that. Can't be helped, I guess. What is my task? Okay. So we have Val yes. Valgyra now in the party. Very nice. That's why I actually came to Umar Hills. Let's see what else we can do here. Very well. Oh, a moose. Um, dead end? Mm, almost. I can hear you well enough. On my honor. Done. Okay, that's another mm, exit. Wait, what's that? Who died here? You know, I think the forest likes Boo. My thieving skills will be of little use here. What wealth does a bear drop in the woods? I'm so happy you brought me what with you. What the fuck? I never imagined that we would be Ogres. doing such great things. I'm glad. Ari is happy. That makes me happy too. Well, at least his ogres don't seem to be hostile. That's something. Maduth. Hi, Maduth. Hold! User a elf! But user not a human not of human village. Why you come? What user wanting? Who are you and what are you doing here? Me Madwith. Lead fellows from Great Army of Sithsil in this house. Not want to kill races no more. Lead fellows in desertion. We just want to be left alone. Uh, you're deserters from the Sicilian Empire? How do you expect to live up here? It's very hard. Humans hate us, and we just want to be left alone. Some humans call knights who chase us. Not bad. Here, but... Who chase us? Not bad. Here, but Mardov thinks village will call knights soon. Humans very mad. Hmm... Of course they have a right to be mad if you're killing them. We no kill no humans in village. We no want trouble with user. How do I know you're telling the truth? Always Maldorf and fellows be chased and hated cause me an ogre. We just wants to be left alone. We come here one moon ago, tries to settle for a while, yes? Soon after we come, fellows began to vanish. One, two, they go. Some turn up, killed, skin missing. 
Some bodies vanish too. Mardolf not know who killing us. Mardolf worried. Numbers get smaller. We like here, but something bad is here too. Killing us fellows. Very bad. Something's killing your people too. What do you think it is? Mardolf no knows. Maybe wolves. Maybe bad magic. Nobody sees what kills fellows. Comes at night though. Maybe it's the shadows. I see. So your band is no better off than the village. I'll be going then. Wait. You not attack us. We needs you bring word to human village. Humans run when Madov goes, so me needs you to do it for me. You the bring word, yes? Hmm, what kind of word do you need brought to them? Madov... Madov not want death. Madov not want fight. Just peace. You tell villagers maybe that Madov and fellows will protect village? Protect from orcs in mountains, yes? Humans let us stay then, and no call knights. Maybe let us come once in a moon to trade for food and goods. Mardolf will make deal with village if you tell them. We know one trouble. Hmm, alright, I'll tell the mayor what you said, but I can't promise anything. Mardolf happy. Maybe fellows can live alone and eat good, be happy here. You do good thing. Maybe humans agree. Mardolf keep deal, you tell them. Okay, so the orcs obviously don't kill the villagers. They are killed themselves by whatever is doing the killing here. I wouldn't know. I'm not from about that town. I'm from Candlekeep. Oh well. There are just lots of books there. And that's pretty much it. Uh, okay, what do we have here then? Still a part in the middle of the map that we didn't explore yet. I'm just glad we got that Valiga guy here. Wait, what's that? Oh, it's it's them orcs again. Okay, ogres, not orcs. That's all the same. Hmm. No. Okay. We have to walk across that. What is that? Ulmark, Umar cave, Valiga's cabin. There's a ranger cabin. Why the fuck didn't I see the entrance to that? Grrr. Must I repeat? Grrr. <sighs> Fine. But I'm just glad that they gave me the marker here. No. Get away. Don't annoy me. So there's a cave here. Is that right? Is that the entrance to it? Apparently. Could we go up here? No, we can't. Um, form up here, my friends. So, we save. And see what's in here. As you ask. Okay. I I think I'm looking for a mimic. That could be a mimic. It's not shown here. Weird. Oh well. Hi, you a mimic? Yes, how funny. He held me. That's rather inconvenient. The mimic is dead. Well, I'm just glad that, yeah, rings of freedom. Very useful. Um, what was that? Valiger saved and the rest got held. Uh, but not Minsk and Jahira. Oh, I'm free again. Very nice. What do you require? Am I hurt? Not very much. It shall be. Mims, mi uh, mimics blood. I guess the mage wanted that. If I'm not totally wrong. <coughs> Bullet plus one. Dot plus one. We don't need that. We can sell that. Yes. Who 
Wait, Amber Hulk? Where? There's an Amber Hulk? There, fuck it, an Amber Hulk. So be it. I am your doom. What is my considerate done? On my honor. Oh. Near death. Oh, he's having a near death experience. No, he's having a death experience. Ha ha. I'm so funny. Yes. Oops. Okay. Very interesting. We shall see whether there are more. What do you require? Yes, they are. Fear is for those of no confidence. With vengeance. That's not right. Embarrassing. At airy levels. How do we like that? Very much, I guess. Wait, what did she get? A cleric level. I accept that. That means she can learn new spells. Maybe, I don't know, sanctuary, not sanctuary, maybe. What else do I want here? I guess we could use a box skin. At a level 5 spell, what do I want? What do I get? Righteous magic, what does that do? This is a powerful combat spell that enhances the priest's physical prowess, transforming him into a juggernaut of destruction. The effect adds one temporary hit point for every level of the caster, adds one point of strength for every three levels of the caster, up to the maximum of 25, and inflicts maximum damage with every hit. So uh, she gets like 9 hit points? That's not really much. Uh, forget it. Hmm, what else do we have? Repulse under, true seeing, slay living, mass cure, raise dead, magic resistance, greater command, flame strike, cure critical wounds, animal, animal summoning 2, cause critical wounds, champion strength, security commands. True seeing is always nice to have. What does mass cure do? When casting this spell, the priest must picture the faces of his fellow party members clearly and focuses on the entirety of the entity of the group. Upon completion, all party members within 30 foot radius of the cast are healed 1d8 plus 1 uh, per, level hit, uh, per level hit points. Curing is permanent only in surfing as the creature does not sustain further damage. Cursed wounds will heal. What? Curing is permanent only in so far as the creature does not sustain further damage. Yeah, of course. Caused wounds will heal or can be cured just as any normal injury. Yeah, of course, it's a healing spell. It doesn't mean the character is invincible afterwards. Hmm. And that one would heal 27 hit points, but just on one creature, though. And true seeing is, of course, always useful. No, I'm taking that. Eh? Very well. Yes. Where shall I display my skill in it? Yoshimo is willing. Look for traps. One, two, three, four, five. Fine. Ooh, what do we get? We can keep the warhammer though. And all that non magical stuff. Loyal gem. Hmm. Arrows plus one, I have and bolts plus one. And the short sword plus one. I guess we have lots of magical arrows now. Um
What is my task? And that's pretty much all that is in here. I await your word. Oh, maybe we should heal Minsk some more. Yeah. Nature's servant awaits. Vita, mortis, On my honor. I await your need. I light one too. Vita, mortis, What do you require? It shall be. So, let's return to that cabin here. There's the entrance. Okay, now I see it. Consider it done. Hmm. It, it should highlight. It really should highlight when I press uh, tab. I would really like that a lot. Yeah. Who is missing? Yoshima? Yeah. So we go in here. We go in here. No? That's really hidden the entrance here, yeah, I gotta tell you that. Hey! What the fuck? Ach, Yoshimo! Fuck it! Wha what's what's I up will here? Do my best. If memory serves, you're right behind me, right? Yeah, don't worry, everything is dandy. Just taking a quick look around here, see whether there's anything trapped. There obviously is a note on the floor. Uh, what's that? It looks as if a violent struggle has taken place here. Someone was killed and dragged out of the cabin. There are a few footprints in the blood. They appear to be... What? Dog or wolf prints? What the fuck? A note from Mazen Mazzy Fenton. Wallach, we travel this day to search out the wolf lair. My own scouting of the region has confirmed Marella's suspicions that there is a large pack of wolves acting in this area. On the map included I have indicated where I believe the wolf den can be lo located. Follow us if you can, but be cautious. We can ill afford another mysterious disappearance until we meet again, Messi. On the same sheet is drawn a crude but effective map which indicates the path to a forest area several hours north of the Imnesville region. Really? Probably this one, Temple Ruins. That's new. Yeah, I think I still have a stitch in my leg from lying in that cold cell we were in. It is good to be up and moving. I have a few pains from that incident myself, though I am not as certain of the cause. I'm not surprised, Irenicus seemed to have a special interest in you. I imagine he will not be the last and I cannot blame him. I have an interest as well. Oh, really? As a harper, I mean. I wouldn't want you to think. Um, let's just get moving. Oh, really? That's sad. So, we take that. And I don't think that we need the letter anymore, we put it in here again. So we take all your stuff. What's that? Marella's journal. You skip many of the entries of times and places far removed from your current worries. Flame Rule 7. Card you came to visit again. A sweet child eager to learn my ways with the wild creatures. Flame Rule 12. Dark creatures roam the forest. <coughs> Several townspeople have been slain by some unknown predator. Everyone seems to have their own opinion of what is doing the killing. The strangest thing is that the bodies are disappearing in the morning. This leaves me baffled, for most signs point to a pack of wolves that have been in the area for a long time. Wolves don't steal bodies. Flame rule 13. Or perhaps I should say wolf-like creatures? 
At night, while I've been patrolling, I've often caught shadowy glimpses of the wolves running alongside me. I've tried to attract their attention, but they ignore me. I find this most strange, as if the pack is being controlled by someone else. Years ago, I spoke with the pack leaders, and they were cordial. Now they either flee from me, or, I fear to say this, they stalk me. Flame World 21. It is near moon, and I, and still the wood outside my cabin seems full of shadows. I have... It's near noon, not moon. Did I say moon? I meant noon. I have been hard-pressed to hear birds, and most of the larger animals have long fled. I plan to find the wolves then this afternoon. I have drawn a map to it. All signs point to them as being the culprits, but what wolves act like these? They are wolves with a cunning of men. And there's something else, a whispering in my mind. It is faint now in the, walk in the waking hours, but while I sleep I dream only of this voice and the face behind it. Whether it connects to the voices I do not know. I suspect by the time that the sun sets tonight I'll have answers to my questions. And I guess that points to the same temple runes thingy here. Didn't get anything else, no. No, this one, thanks. Okay, so I guess we can put it in here again. And there are two barrels. That one is empty though. And that one has one gold coin. Acid arrows. And bolts of I don't know what they do. Bolts of lightning. Nobody uses those. But those acid bolts might come in handy if we fight trolls. But then again, you do. You still have your flame sword. Oh, well. Yes. This yes. has been a long video again. Very well. So I guess now that we have um, the mimic's blood, we will return to that mage here somewhere here, and we will give him that. And then I will not follow that quest line now. Then I will return to Athkatla and to the sphere and the slums, and we will deal with the disappearance of people in Uma Hills and the temple ruins later. I just want to get that quest here finished. So, as always, thank you very much for watching, and see you soon. Bye.